Hey everybody and welcome back again to another edition of Dark Souls 2 Revisited Playthrough, episode 17. I'm Fox with Foxy Who Plays, and I'm taking another look at the game, re-evaluating Dark Souls 2 from a fresh perspective, having been away from it for a while, at least for a while before I started the first episode of this playthrough. You are blessed, but... Okay, listen lady, if you're gonna hang out somewhere, could, could we do it like a little further from the ledge here? Because if I take like two steps backwards, I'm gonna fall to my impending doom. So, I'm really uncomfortable on this spot. Three and four, and oh, look at that, look at that extra damage. I'll take it. I'll take all of it, my green princess. All right. So, we, we, we've done that. Now, what do we need to do? We just finished the rotten. And let's see. Yeah, we need titanite chunks, but no one wants to give us any titanite chunks. Everyone's offering titanite and large titanite, but not any titanite chunks, unfortunately. Ooh, Sublime Bone Dust. I almost forgot about that. Last one takes us to plus five. All we have left is to get one more Estus Flash Shard. And there's one in Drain Lake Castle, as well as one in somewhere else. The Shrine of Amana, I do believe. So now, we need to head back to Drain Lake Castle, which I think is at the Ruined Fork Road. When I first played through this game, I really didn't have any clue where to go at this point. Like, I was just kind of wandering around, and I think somebody in my Twitch chat told me where to go, because I certainly wasn't about to figure it out on my own. Um, is it this way, or the other way? I think it's straight ahead. Because when I got to this area, it, it didn't really click with me that this was the castle we need to go into, and plus, after you get the four Lord Souls, and defeat the four... Lords or whatever, there really isn't anything making it clear where to go. It's not like they tell you, you know, go to the Shaded Woods and go north. No, they don't really tell you that, although I wouldn't expect it. But, you know, produce the symbol of the king. Okay, well, we still can't get through there. Apparently, once you've gotten the four souls, there's a door that will just open for you at that point. For whatever reason, I don't know. It'll just open, whereas in the past it didn't open, but now it will. I've also been told it'll open if you simply collect two million souls, although I've never tried that myself. Yes, I, I guess it's this way, isn't it? We gotta get you, little sneak. Kinda sneak up behind us when we least expect it. I love the way they just kinda waddle forward. Oh, nice. I missed everything. Oh, come now. Gotcha. And somehow sent that body flying, even though I didn't think bodies were supposed to. The Havoc engine has been removed from this game. For a very silly reason. I'm gonna get this guy just so that- oh shoot, he hit me with that rock. What a jerk. And you too, buddy. We will be well equipped to finish this out, because not long from now we'll have pretty much a maxed out Estus Flask, both in the number and in the strength. Yeah, because when you get here, like, I... I really barely even noticed this little pathway here, and this pathway doesn't... I mean, there's nothing about this that appears that special. Um, and when, when I did run up here before, there's this thing here, and it's just sort of like a door. A shrine of Winter, which, again, is no indication, oh, excuse me, of anything to do with the Lord Souls. See, and it just opens. You're just supposed to know, I guess. I don't know how you're supposed to know, but you are. And this thing leads us to the third DLC of the game. And I just realized I probably didn't want to do that. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do that. I do like that they went with the snow theme, but, you know, whatever. Let me go ahead and hit the first bonfire so at least we can warp back here if we decide to do it. But again, this is one of the most frustrating areas of the game. Especially as you get towards the end of it, with the endlessly respawning enemies. Come 
Come on, bonfire, where are you? <clears throat> it's been so long since I've... Oh, right there, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And with that, I do believe we've unlocked that bonfire, so we can head back. I like these uh, graves, or whatever they are. Who knows what they're for? Can we break them? No, we cannot. And the headless snakes. Well, that was a long, awkward pause. So, now that we've gotten past a few of those areas which were some of my least favorite in the game, Hopefully we'll pick back up and enjoy the rest of this experience to whatever degree we're, we're able to. And again, as I've pointed out before, there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't be able to just run across that. And actually, I just went the wrong way. Um, that <laughs> It's so silly that your obstruction there is a, a couple rocks that fell over that you could literally just step over with, by just lifting your leg. You wouldn't even have to climb. you just lift your leg into the air and then you'd be over it and you wouldn't have to fight the four bosses. <laughs> But, whatever. So let's go get this item back here. This, yeah, that right there is what prevents you from moving forward. I mean, who made that choice? I really want to know. Who, who decided that? Come on, guys. I mean, you could have had some big giant obstruction that would very clearly prevented you from progressing, but no, you had that little tiny thing. And there's this loser who doesn't do anything. <laughs> and this thing, okay, I'll take it. And what's in here? Or what's through here? Nothing's through there, okay. I've been part of the sun sunlight covenant, but I haven't done anything with it. It's kind of been absolutely useless, as most covenants in these games are, unfortunately. They've never really done much with the Covenants. Not even in Bloodborne. In fact, Bloodborne almost feels like they made it even worse. You gonna come after everybody? Or are you gonna hang out there behind the safety of your little crossbow friends? Little chicken. Aha! Oh, come on now. You're not gonna stop now, are you? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, sucks to be that guy. Oh, come on. Really now? We're going to be doing this? Let's be reasonable here, arrows. Ah, oh, I didn't even move. How is it? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Just just stop. Just stop now, Fox. Don't don't question it. Don't ask questions. Don't don't just just accept it. It's stupid, that's the way it is. No plunge attack, I don't know why. Yeah, sometimes the plunge attack just doesn't want to initiate. But what are you going to do about that, huh? Holy Water Urn. And Drang Lake Castle. Oh my gosh, we actually got a Crystal Lizard as soon as we came up to it. Tight Knight Chunk in a slab. My golly, those are both going to be of some use in some way or another. This castle is isolated. It is. But nonetheless, you must forge on. That's the plan. I wasn't going to stop. bring an end to your journey and mine. Okay. Okay, well gee, thanks, thanks. That was, that was really useful. You know, you couldn't, you know, maybe offer to level up or anything, or even to take Estus Flash Shards? No, no, now you're just going to be useless. Thanks. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate that. And thanks for showing up and giving me these really vague statements about the castle that did no good whatsoever. It's much appreciated. Yeah, see, it unlocks both of them at the same time. You don't even have the option of getting one or the other. Stupid. 
And a guy shooting you with an arrow. No reason for that now. Oh no, I'm going to start hitting the guy in front. I want to get the guy behind him because he's almost dead. This is why you need a bow, guys. This is why you need a bow. This, among other things. Don't worry, we got plenty of space to back up. For the most part. Oh no, you're not going to start using your shield now, are you? You're going to ruin it. There we go. Excellent. That's the way to do it. Yes, drop that shield. Ensure your own doom. And finish you off with a little wooden arrow. And what do they drop? What do they drop? A Mastodon Gauntlets. A Mastodon Gauntlets. Oh wait, I forgot. You gotta kill him by this thing for some unknown reason. Who knows why, but that's what you gotta do. Because reasons, my friend. What's around the corner? Goodies, I know. Magic goodies, special goodies, or complete lack of goodies in this case. Well, I've been through this before, but yeah, that, that thing that we saw last time, when we attempted to use the Primal Bonfire after the Rotten, I had never seen that before in my life. I'm pretty sure that that did not exist in the game prior to a recent patch or something, because I don't remember that being there. Or maybe it was after they put one of the DLC. Maybe it was after you purchased the DLC they had that pop up. I really don't know, but I definitely don't remember that from earlier. This is where the enemies just spawn from endlessly until you are able to uh, infuse them with the souls of the dead to open the pathway to the Castle of Light. Well, my friend, do you know you're a ghost and that you're dead? You probably don't know that, do you? Well, then I'm not going to tell you. I'll just let you figure that out on your own. Some things you have to discover for yourself. Just like long sessions of dialogue before finally getting to a menu. You do give me a... Oh yeah, there we go. Finally! What's that? Gradually... Greatly restores HP. Hmm. Old Radiant Life Gym. Yeah. I'm not impressed with your selection, dude. You've had better. I've had better merchants. <clears throat> is this the way forward? Oh, is this the dual pursuers? What is the condition to get them to appear? I don't know. Not gonna worry about it now. Weakness lightning. That's my weakness too. Oh no, my medicine's wearing off, guys. My nostrils are clogging up again. <laughs> oh shoot, couldn't couldn't poise break him. There we go. Gotta roll for that backstab. Gotta earn it. Yes! Spammy. Spam for the win. Just tried to break that mirror. I couldn't quite reach it. Uh-oh. Come on now. Come on now. Don't chicken out just because I killed one of you. There's still two of you versus me. Oh, now it's one versus one. Not liking those odds, are you, my friend? I can parry you if I get my timing right. Aha! There we go. 
<clears throat> Thank goodness that parries work the same in Dark Souls 3 that they did in Dark Souls, which is instant. You don't have this awkward waiting period before you can do your repost, which I've never liked. I don't think anyone ever liked that. Uh-huh. Well, I see. Okay, now. <clears throat> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Pointless. Indeed, it is pointless. I have to agree with that 100%. Fake door. Fake door. Real door. Oh, hi there. Their, their uh, great sword is actually not that bad. I think I used it for at least a portion of a playthrough before. I believe that one of the bonfire rooms in this area, if not two of the bonfire rooms in this area, are actually secret. One of them is definitely secret. I remember one is a secret. Along like a pathway or ledge or something. Oh, the old trick of statues that come alive. I'm wise to you. I don't know if those come alive. I don't think these guys come alive. But there are some statues somewhere in this game that come alive. Bonfire, 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 bonfire. Yes, bonfire. Bonfire lit. And bonfire arrested at. Back to Majula. Whew, I'm making some good progress on this. I'm trying to push through this game uh, quickly rather than slowly. Because I would like to get it finished and move on to some other games. I'll get this done way, way before Dark Souls 3 releases, obviously. I need 18005. Mm, not quite. Actually, hang on. Maybe one of those? Yeah. Bloody. Okay. Whoops. I generally won't be able to respond to your comments in the videos that I do, but I am reading them all, guys. I'm reading every single comment you leave. Believe me, I am. Ooh, four. I'll take it. Four extra damage for one level? I like it. And back to Dragonlight Castle. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, what the heck are these? Oh, those are DLC. That's what those are. Back to the castle. Who is the boss of this area? Oh, I think it's the Mirror Knight. The Mirror Knight, okay. I'm remembering now. And then that actually leads to the final boss of the game, believe it or not. But you can't get in there yet. <laughs> oh dear goodness, I remember this area. Oh wow, really all of them at once? Why well, you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? Come on now. Oh, come on now. Really? Give me a break. You're gonna have all of these enemies? And they have that incredible attack pattern? Oh, no, 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 no. You're gonna come back here. You're not gonna drag me out there to get hit by more of your little brethren. Oh, come on now. There we go. Don't be a jerk. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The one with lower health. You come close. Where's the other guy? I can't even see him. Oh, there he is. Coming straight for me. That's where he is. He's got blood. He's got bloodlust. Look at this punk running all the way back.
<laughs> nice try, buddy. I'm not falling for your little combo this time. Yeah, these guys are fairly tough. Which can mean that they're, they can be a little frustrating trying to get off this bonfire here. But at least they always do that combo, even if they're not even close to hitting you. Oh, come on now, I dodged that. You just didn't register it. Titanite Slab, really? Did I just get super lucky with that drop? Did I just get super lucky with that drop? Oh my gosh, there's so many of these guys. There's so many. What do you do with this? Come on now. I mean, just... Four or five of them would have been plenty. Uh, I actually dodged that one too, but whatever. I didn't dodge that, I'll admit that. I'll concede that point to you, game. I'll concede that one. But the rest I dodged. Stone Soldier Spear. Okay, I do need to kill two of them near the statue, so if I get these last two, then I'll just fight the other two near the statue. And that'll be all cool, right? It'll be all cool. Cool and grand and no problem. <laughs> I like how they run at me for a bit and then run right back, like, psych. Right, where's this other punk at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Talking about wasting arrows. What I can do is I can lower the health on these guys and then kill them near the statues when they're super low on health. That way I don't have to fight them both when they're fairly high health. Because they can kill me, that's for sure. They can definitely kill me. Oh, shoot! Oh, yeah, I knew I was going to get caught after that. Man, what a ninja with that spear. Mr. Spear Ninja. Alright, let's get, let's get into these... Let's get towards these statues, my friends. I need one of you over here. Oh, great. I don't want to kill both of you at the same time. Okay, that's one. Tell me that's close enough. Oh, it's to the doors, not the statues? What's up with that? Oh, Ruined sentinels. A bunch of punks. Uh-oh, I hear another... Is there another Rune Sentinel moving, or is it this one I'm hearing? I don't need two of these at a time. One is okay, but two? No. Uh-oh. Ooh, close. Oh, come now. Come on, that should have killed you. Will you open the door? Yes, you will. Excellent. Well, that, that, that works then. I can just keep killing the Rune Sentinels opening doors. Come on out. Come on now. Don't take your time about this. I got business to take care of, my friend. I don't want this episode to go very long. In fact, this whole episode is going to be me in this single room right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta remember stamina. Do not deplete all your stamina. That's always a bad idea in the Souls games. Oh shoot, see I thought I could take care of him right then and there. But I couldn't. No, 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 no! No! See, I knew it. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And done. Open that door. And what's behind door number three? Another ruined sentinel. Just like the one behind one and two. 
I need to get you somewhere else, my friend. Right here. We're gonna open this one next. See, look at all that stamina disappear every time I do anything. Stamina just fades away. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, thank goodness he was staggered. I totally out of stamina there. Stop moving so far away, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. And that's it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Gotcha. Let me try to get to these treasure chests before I forget. Royal Soldier's Ring, plus one. Ah, that's what I want. Uh, what's it look like? What's it look like? What's it look like? There we go. Well, actually, I don't need it now. <laughs> I actually don't need that, now that I think about it. Absorb HP from each defeated foe. How about that? Jeez, I'm going to need some uh, additional durability on this weapon. Is it? Oh, there's one in here. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on now. Woo. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's open this door over here. Come on over here. Oh, shoot. I didn't think you would hit me. I miscalculated that. Let the stamina return. I love that stagger. He really loses his balance. Pretty thin guys, too. They must do the no carb, uh, low carb diet. Ran out of stamina. That's the only reason I got hit. Oh, come on now. I dodged that. And what's behind this door? Actually, not another ruined sentinel. Okay. But I will actually need another one to trigger that uh, that other statue, if nothing else. So maybe we can lure one of these enemies all the way out there. But then again, maybe it won't work. Maybe require one of those stone dudes. Well, we'll try it. We'll see if we can grab one of these guys and lure them all the way out here. I know there are secrets around here. I just, yeah, suspicious of that guy, to say the least. Oh no. Really. I don't know if that's worth it. Wait, what? When he attacks, it does corrosive damage? Try rear. <laughs> okay. Freak. Mm, let's see here. What am I getting myself into? That's the same room I just came from. Okay. That's the beginning. And here's the room with the one dude, I believe. Very descriptive. The one dude. Ow. Jerk. Our soul of a brave warrior and twinkling tight knight. These masks don't like me or something. Oh, come on. Why do you have to all come at me like that? Why can't you just do one at a time? You have to have some sense of fair play here.
Where'd he go? Oh, you retreated like a little sissy, huh? Uh, did he fall? I think he fell, didn't he? All right, whatever. I hear a lot of movement. Come on, buddy. One. Two. Three. Got him. And I think there's a red phantom around the corner. I know, not a lot of commentary here. I kind of kind of focusing focusing my efforts. I think you could probably make a jump right there. Oh, the nameless usurper. Gosh, I hate this guy so much. Oh, wait, is this the guy I was thinking of, or is this someone else? This might not actually be the guy I was thinking of. Let's go in here, because it'll be a little easier for me to, to, to jump around and whatever. Yeah, this guy can be a little tricky, but hopefully not too bad here. Uh, come on now. There we go. Human effigy. Well, thank you, FromSoft. Give me something for it. That's different from your usual, you know, absolute nothing. Oh, I got right in the way of your little dart there. How do I... How do I get down there? Can I roll off this? I could, couldn't I? I could roll off that. I think so. Yeah, okay. There's probably an easier way to do that, but that also works. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And yeah, there was a way to just climb down. <laughs> I'm oblivious to that, obviously. Excellent, I remember this now. Told you guys there was at least one hidden bonfire in this area, if not more than one. Ooh, you almost got me, but not quite. Nice try, though, buddy. I do like this castle. I, I don't really necessarily like the placement and types of enemies that they chose for it. But other than that, I think it's pretty good design in, in terms of a castle. You know, you've got out, outside portions, inside portions. However, I will say there doesn't really seem to be a lot to do in the castle. Um, there aren't all that many rooms and I don't know. They could have done a lot more with it. Definitely feel like they could have done a lot more. Visit Vendrick. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Now she goes silent, because she doesn't want to talk anymore. These are the dual dragon riders, I believe. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on, that tracking. That tracking man. I can get him to come out towards me, and then I can make a mad dash towards the other dude. I can take him out. There we go. Okay. I seem to be doing lots of damage to these guys. Some people profess that they had problems with these two guys. I don't really know why. I don't feel like they're particularly difficult. I've never had problems with any of the Dragon Riders. In fact, one of my strategies, as you saw, was to run to the first Dragon Rider, kill him, get all the souls, get past him, get the knight set, and then kind of move forward from there. Because I just find him a really super easy boss, even at 
uh, the lowest level possible. Now those guys right there, I don't know if they would be super easy at super low levels. Probably not. But uh, I, don't, I doubt they'd be super difficult, given how easy the first one was. And how we basically annihilated that Great Bow Dragon Rider with simply, what, four hits? I think four hits killed him. Okay, we can upgrade something. And as, usually I recommend upgrading the shield before the armor, but the only reason I'm not going that route is simply because I'm noticing that I'm just virtually never using my shield. So given that I'm always using my armor, might as well go ahead and upgrade the armor. That gives me four and that gives me four, but that will give me 10 and that will give me seven or six rather. So I'll wait, save up my chunks, and spend them all on the uh, armor, I guess. Unless another chunk there. Well, that will give me one additional stability. Yeah, not worried about I'll that. Be around if, you make if I make it back. Yeah. Well. No interest. All right, lady. Let's see Thanks. what we can do in terms of level up. We could do more vigor, although it just doesn't seem to make a big difference. 40 for two levels? Four each? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you? Oops. As you notice, guys, I'm really heavily favoring using life gems because they're so cheap and when there's not an emergency like I don't need emergency health right away I can just pop multiple life gems let's go back here and open up that other oh you know we don't need to open up that area I don't think we need anything that's up there now that I think about it though we could try oh I did go to the right spot oh come on now you hit me way too fast I wasn't ready let's try that again actually what I'm going to do is Alt-Tab out real quick and see where is the Estus in this area, because I do not want to miss it. In the room with a gated door, past the large room with four Alam Knight captains and two Scion soldiers, Royal Guard, and a Primal Knight. Hmm. Four Alam Knight captains. We haven't seen any Alam Knight captains yet. At least I don't think we have. So we haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. Ha! Huh, I responded first, buddy. You die. Ow. Gosh darn it. They're just way too fast on the draw with that thing. I'm not ready for that. Oh, I just realized I should have used the other bonfire. I did use the wrong bonfire. Okay. That was silly of me. Finding my way through this area that I absolutely don't need to. And what the heck is that? Looks like a sword going down into something with a bunch of just, I don't know, something sticking out of it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, gosh darn it. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize he was shooting from there. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Estus doesn't really seem to heal that much, even at plus five. Oh, okay. So that's, that's, oh yeah, so that's not going to open up. It's a gated door. Let's try this route, shall we? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've accidentally fallen down that thing. It's locked, it's just like every other door in this game. Alright. And this doesn't work because I don't know why. It just doesn't want to work right now. You must do something else first. Is the logic, I suppose. That is one long ladder. That would be pretty freaky to accidentally fall. I 
Oh gosh. Oh really? Three at a time? That's not fair. Oh, I'm stuck in this room. Don't go to the other side and alert those other dudes. Oh, come on now. How am I still alive? Got you. Okay. Ooh, I got lucky there. I probably really should have died. <laughs> Given that how sloppy that was. Can I backstab one of you guys? Maybe not. Probably not. Oh, I can. Well, I would have been doing that had I known that. Okay. Please tell me they don't aggro all four at a time. Oh, two at a time. Okay, I can do that. I can do two. Reasonably. Even if the backstab does look ultra silly. Okay, I only need one by the statue, so let's focus on hitting this dude with the shield and do some damage to him when the shield's down. Oh, okay. Alright, I need you to come over here. So that you can let me out. Uh oh, shoot, is that close enough? Maybe? Maybe not? It is, okay. Death required ahead, I like it. And I like how if you look through this, you can actually see what that does. That's good design. Well, I, I thought you could, couldn't you? Yeah, you can see that that comes down, so it shows you what it's doing. Old Knight Hammer, don't need it. Don't need it either of those either. Okay, well that's fine. Uh oh. This looks bad. This looks very bad. Oh, these statues don't come alive. Thank goodness! Oh, this is where the Estus flash shard is. Somewhere in here. Gosh, I got lucky there. I only got hit once that whole encounter. Okay, we got that one. Let's check this chest. Please don't be a medic. Please don't be a medic. Please don't be a medic. Is your poison. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? Fire great arrow. Oh, I didn't need that. Why was I thinking I needed that? They certainly wouldn't have an Estus Flash Shard and a breakable treasure chest now, would they? That would be cruel. Let's go get those other guys rather than just keep getting pelted by them. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to get hit by both of those, now did I? And of course he had to hit me as I was coming out of the backstab. <gasps> shoot, shoot, shoot! That was close. Woo! That was very close. I gotta admit, I got a little lucky there. Ooh, and I got his halberd. 
That's a great weapon, by the way, guys. Excellent weapon. Please be the SS Flash Shard. Ah, oh, it's not the SS Flash Shard. But I thought it said the SS Flash Shard was somewhere in this room. It says, in the room with the gated door, past the large room with four Lawn Knight captains, two Scion soldiers, and a Primal Knight. Oh, it's past this. Okay. It's past this room. This is a tough room. Okay, I just need one of you at a time, so if the other one could just chill while I get one, that would be cool. Yep, why don't you why don't you come at me by yourself, bro? Okay, we're way past our time on this. Oh, I hate to do this, guys. I really do, but we're gonna have to call it right here of all places. <laughs> this is like the worst ending to any episode so far, but we've been getting lucky with the other ones. Thanks for joining me, guys. We're at 46 minutes. That's well past our 45 minute mark. So I will see you in the next edition of the Dark Souls 2 Revisited playthrough. As always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Follow my other channel on YouTube. Like the video. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. Links are in the description. I'm Fox with Foxy Plays. And remember to always blame the game. Later, guys.